Hi, I was, welcome back to Shama's Plants Planting Time. I was just making some notes about tomorrow's video. You can see it is going to be about the crystallinum that I got today. But I'm not going to make it tonight. I'm going to wait until tomorrow. The music you heard playing was from my son. He is very talented. I will link his uh, channel in the description below in case you want to check out his music. He makes videos and music. He's very talented. I, of course, think he's very talented, but he really is very talented. So you'll have to check him out. But anyway, welcome to today's video, or actually what's going to be tomorrow's video. And I hope I will see you tomorrow. So... Um, anyway, have a good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Very good. Hi, welcome back to Shayla's Plants Planting Time. It is today when just two seconds ago it was yesterday for y'all but I slept a little bit I got up at one it was okay it was okay for me so today we are going to talk about this beautiful beautiful anthurium crystal item that I got in the mail from my friend Emily I bought it for her, from her on her uh, Instagram shop called I Plan Them. Her name is Emily, and her last name is K-W-A-K. -K. I never know how to pronounce it. But anyway, I plopped it in some water, even though it looked like it was doing really well. And that was according to Kaylee Ellen's advice. She said, plop them in there for 24 hours if they come and spag them, and they look great just to plump them back up so that's what i'm doing is plumping it back up i'll oh, plump it up plump it up but anyway so today we are going to take talk about taking care of that little booger now i'm really nervous because i don't know why i wasn't nervous when i got my milano chrysum or my vitrifolium but it might have been the state i was in at the time because i remember when i got my milano chrysum i was like on a down you know, we all have those days. I was like, honey, I was talking to my fiance. I was like, just pop it in some moss and I'll deal with it later. On my vitrifolium, I was a little more pumped about. Got it. It was in soil and then it got root rot and now it is in pond. They are both in pond actually and growing very well. And I did get in another philodendron silver sword and it is also in pond and growing rates like crazy and I still have my original huge one over there that is also in pond but who knows what it's doing but anyway I'm going off on a tangent how to take care of an anthurium crystallina all right they are native to Central and South America growing on treetops or terrestrial on the sides of hills they are heart-shaped leaves but as they mature, those upper lobes get closer and closer together so that it just kind of looks like an oval. It does flower with a thin spathe of a dull purplish brown color. It kind of looks like a, the flower on a peace lily. So, um, I think you can get harvest seeds from it. I don't know. Um... As far as soil goes, it can grow in a wide range that is well draining, but it needs to retain water. And we'll get to that in a minute. In a minute. They go, they are good to grow in terracotta pots. So, terracotta is the way to go for when I plant this thing up, actually. It has good roots on it. Um, you know, anthurium have those big, juicy roots. Light as far as that goes it's bright and direct um, no direct light it will scorch the leaves watering let it dry out between the watering but 
try to keep it evenly moist. Don't let it dry out too much. If that top layer dries out, then you need to water it because it needs to be at an even constant moisture at all time, but not soggy. So that is going to be the trick that I have is getting the watering down because I've never had one that I had to do that. Well, maybe I have, and I just have forgotten. Maybe like alocasia are kind of like that. You know, you want to keep them wet, but not soggy. And calathea, I guess it would be kind of like that. But anyway, temperature, they're a tropical plant, so they're warm-loving. They want 65 to 75 degrees Celsius. They are suckers for humidity. They like it at least 70 to 80 percent. Don't miss the leaves, though, because you can get bacterial spots or fungal spots on them. So do not miss the leaves. First thing I did was spray mine down with water yesterday when I got it because I thought, oh, it's hot, it's thirsty, it's been in the mail. And then I subsequently ran in here and dried it off really quickly. So I hope I didn't miss anything up. Fertilizer, I do liquid dirt and super thrive every time I water. So even though it's in, well it's in plain water right now, but when I put it back in its moss, I will wet, uh, moisten that with liquid dirt and super thrive. I've just found that that works best, just better than anything. Um, propagation, the simplest way is to separate the plantlets from the roots as soon as they appear. You can do seed growth or division. They're slow growers. Um, their leaves can get rather large wide wise, but they stay more compact. They're not a trailer or a climber. So as far as troubleshooting, uh, leaf spots that look like burn marks, um, could be bacterial or fungal infections and you're going to have to cut those out. Um, I had a fourth leaf on this and uh, she sent it a picture of it to me. There it is right there. And it had gotten a bacterial or a fungal um, infection and it spread and she asked me what I wanted her to do and I finally said you know let's quit messing around with this and let's just cut it off so thank you Emily for guiding me um, as far as that pest they get aphids spider mites and mealy bugs ooh the mealies but you know how to get rid of that um, spray prophylactically with neem oil and if you run into a pest problem then treat that specific pest you know if it's spider mites do mitex if it's if it's thrips or aphids do captain jack's dead bug bonide but anyway i am really excited about this plant uh probably don't remember being this excited about a plant since I first started collecting plants and every plant I saw was new to me. I just have been wanting one for so long and I'm just so excited to have it in my care. I just hope all goes well. I don't want to hurt this baby. But we're going to have to come up with a name for them. I don't name very many of my plants. Um, I have been busy today making uh, self-watering moss bowls for everything. I put my Raffida Ford Tetrasperma on one, and I got one to make in the future for my um, Milano Chrysum once it decides to get in gear and start growing. So, yeah, lots of things going on in the planty world. That is how I broke my foot doing too much I really don't I've had a lot of surgeries on my feet and I really am unsure as to how I broke it but it is like really messed up I have to have an MRI and stay in this boot that like goes up to my thigh basically not really goes up to my knee but anyway 
Um, yeah, so I have like all metal on my feet, so they couldn't read the x-ray, so they're just sending me to an MRI. But anyway, I'm getting way off topic. Um, so yeah, the Anthurium Crystallinum, if you're in the market for one, Emily has them for sale for $80 to $90 shipped at her plant shop on I plant them I plant them and so if you want to give her a shout out and get you a plant anyway give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on what you think of this video and please like my son's music and subscribe and like to his channel and please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next houseplant video. Bye!